this is what we are going to create in this video. You can use this dotted word map file that I have attached a link to in the description of this video. Create a new composition with the following settings or any other settings that you need. Drag the map to the composition. Right click the map layer and pre-compose it. Let's call it just map. Leave all the attributes in the composition. Double click to go inside the composition. You might want to increase the composition size a little to get some extra space on the sides. But it's not necessary. Duplicate the map and place it side by side. Just do it one more time. Now select the two copies and drag this string icon to make these layers the child layers for the first one. So that if we move the first layer the other two will follow and move with it. Let's add a keyframe for initial position. I want the map to be way on the left side. So instead of dragging the property I'll just minus the 10,000 from the original position so it's all the way to the left for this new keyframe. The map is too big, let's resize it. In the effects window, search for the CC sphere effect. Apply it to the map. Increase the radius. Set the render to outside. Set a direction for the light. I'm using 90% but it's up to you. Now we need to create this network animation. We have, we have a few points and a few lines that connect at these points. Let's select the pen tool and draw lines. One, two, and three. This shape has three points. Set the fill to no and the stroke size to five. Go to windows and click the create nulls from path. This is the tool that you can use to automatically create null objects that will be connected to the points on our shape. Let me show you what I mean. If I click this option while my shape path is selected, it creates these three null objects for each of the three points on my shape layer. If I move any of these null objects on the shape, the, sh the points connected to that null object also move with the null object. That is a great way to create moving corners. Let's create a few more lines and points. Now if we move these nulls alone, only one of the lines move with it, but I want all these lines to be connected and move along. For that we need to connect all the null objects for all these lines. 
I'll simply select one of the null objects and check all the other null objects one by one whether it's on the same position as this one. So 14, no, 15, yes. So let's keep it selected and check all the other ones. No, no, no. So it's just 15 and 11 together at the same position. Let's create a new adjustment layer. And connect these two null objects to the adjustment layer. Now we just have to move the adjustment layer and all the lines connecting at this point will move along with it. Now select the null object 14 from this point and repeat the process to find all the other null objects that are at the same position as 14. Null object 3 is alone at this position so no need to create any adjustment layers. Let's create some dot or circles to cover the corners. connect the adjustment layer to the circle shape layer now we just have to move the circle shape layer and the adjustment layer and the null objects connected to that adjustment layer will move with it do the same for all the other adjustment layers Let's place all the shape layers together at the top. Now we have to give them random movements by adding keyframes at random positions. easy ease for smooth animations this is how it looks at the moment
select the layers for the network and pre-compose. Duplicate the network animation, resize it and place it below the corner. Reduce the opacities a little. Apply the glow effect. Let's create a circle Place it in the corner and apply Gaussian Blur. Select these layers and duplicate them. Change the color to blue. Pre-compose the red layers group. Unchain the vertical and horizontal position and set the vertical position to minus 100. That will invert the shape. Now we have this cool gradient effect. Precompose both the red and blue compositions. Duplicate and rotate to 180.
duplicate the map two times to make it brighter and there you go